you're watching the NFC playoff picture right now and you're saying to yourself, suddenly the Green Bay Packers have emerged as the number one seed and they have emerged despite their defensive struggles and despite not having made a move to bolster their offensive weaponry and despite the way they absolutely blew it on the draft last year, and I will never stop saying that, they feel as though they've emerged as the favorites in the NFC because the Saints look very beatable. Drew Brees, I think there's major question about his return. Seattle is heavily flawed. Those teams out west, the Rams, are they great? No, they're good. Yes, are they great? No. The question is, which is the team right now that is best equipped to beat the Packers if we're going to install the Packers as the favorites in the NFC? And the answer that came from this piece by Rob Domofsky is absolutely fascinating. This is one of the best hot takes you will read today. Rob Domofsky covers Green Bay for us. And he put together a piece here in which he interviewed an NFL scout who said that this team, this iteration of the Packers, this is their best chance to make it to the Super Bowl. In fact, he says he only sees one NFC team that truly has the recipe to beat the Packers in the playoffs. Ask yourself who you think that is. It's not the Saints, who would currently be the number two seed. It's not even the Buccaneers, who beat up the Packers by four touchdowns two months ago. It's not the Rams. It's not the Seahawks. Believe it or not, this scout says it's the Washington football team. Six and seven, leader of the NFC East, Washington. The scout says you need a powerful run game and an elite D-line to beat Aaron Rodgers. With the 49ers dismantling their D-line, there's only one team that can stop Aaron, and that is the Washington team. Would that be something else? And you know what? I sort of see it. Now, I'm not 100% sure why we're not putting the Rams in that same boat. The Rams have an elite defensive line, and as good as Chase Young is, and I think Chase Young might be on the verge of becoming the best defensive player in the NFL, to get there, he will have to move past Aaron Donald. So the Rams have the best defensive lineman, best defensive player, maybe, all things considered, the best player in the National Football League in Donald. They rush the passer with a bunch of other guys, including Leonard Floyd. They've got the shutdown corner on the outside. Jalen Ramsey, one-on-one all day with Devontae Adams, would be worth the price of admission all by itself. And they can run the football. They can run it on the offensive side. And they have an elite coach whose plan I would believe in. So to me, that would be the team I would come to. I believe in the Rams more than I believe in the Washington football team. But I don't think either of them are too far-fetched. Let's make it simple as this. And I've been telling you this since the draft. I do not believe the Packers get to the finish line. And I can tell you right now, I will be rooting for Aaron Rodgers. He deserves it. And and there are very few people. Really, there are three quarterbacks in the NFC whose legacies could be completely rewritten next month. In any order you want to put them. Breeze, who already is as accomplished in the regular season He has amassed the statistics that basically no other quarterback in history has amassed. Rodgers, who many people will point to and say is as good as any quarterback that ever lived. And Russell Wilson, who himself is on a first ballot Hall of Fame all-time great trajectory. All of them with one Super Bowl ring. It would mean everything in the world to Rodgers to get this one. And the way the Packers have handled him, have treated him, and have, in my view, mismanaged the situation around him for a decade, I'm rooting for Rodgers. So I hope I'm wrong when I say I do not believe they get to the finish line this year. I think the Rams could trip them up. And I'll say again, I think the Washington football team could trip them up. And I certainly think that the Bucs could. The Bucs' big disadvantage is they're going to be playing that game at Lambeau Field. And I don't know that Tom Brady right now at his age and this stage is going to do real well with negative 10. So we'll have to wait at that and see it. But that's where we find ourselves with Aaron right now. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.